Is there a particular tool that you use when assessing the symptoms for patients with myelofibrosis? Yes. So we use the MPN total symptom score. Mm -hmm. This is a form that patients can fill out. Um, It has a list of about 10 symptoms that patients can experience with myelofibrosis, and they rank it on a scale of zero to 10. And this is really important, especially when we see patients in clinic, because we can then use this form and the information they provide to determine what treatment options are best for them. So if they're on a current therapy and maybe their symptoms are progressing or worsening, then maybe it's time to talk about alternative therapy. When you're assessing a patient with myelofibrosis and you're specifically talking about their symptoms, if they aren't particularly forthcoming, is there a way that you are able to elicit uh, more information from them? Yes, absolutely. So our medical assistant or our nurse typically will go in and do, you know, the standard review of systems. But I find that using that MPN total symptom score is very useful in um, teasing out and doing a deeper dive into what patients are experiencing. Um, Sometimes patients don't even know or are aware that the symptoms they're experiencing may be related to the myelofibrosis due to other comorbidities that they may have. Like, for instance, um, fatigue, right? Maybe they have vitamin D deficiency or a thyroid issue. So I always like to ask them, you know, in general, how are they doing? And then if they aren't quite forthcoming, as you asked, I tend to say, um, you know, you used to mention that you loved to garden and are you still able to do that? Or you used to tell me that you love to go on bike rides. Are are you still enjoying those types of things? So I, I find that that's more useful asking them applicable real world scenarios in which they Um, have experienced and are doing in their own lives. 